Saturday day, DEO Gohimalaga Conference Solbra District Level Teachers Award Ceremony Tagishi, Deputy Commissioner Shanavas CK, Special Guest Madigina. Ido Homoi Charta Teachers Ke Award Tisha. DC Bra Program Degoshi, Ekta Country Ge Develop Matibule Karne, First Criteria Ektado, Manukan Ge Education, Aro Health Nishna Free Bra, Dibule Paria Nanai Edusai. Dictari Bishi Taga Homode, Bi Teachers Kan Gam Guria Kohina, Durde Posting Taga Teachers Kan Bishi Accommodation Aro Support Napa Kohina, Local Level Support Dibule Lagia Goshe. Taibra Aro Teachers Kan Ge Nature Updated Tagibule Encourage Kuridisha. Welcome to the District Level Teachers Award Ceremony, Kohima 2023. It's an honor for me to be chairing this program for today. And I extend my heartfelt uh, greetings to each and every one of you. We want to thank you for giving us this day with a special program, the District Level Teachers Award Ceremony, under the ages of Dio Kohima. Today we have come here together to appreciate and honor our teachers it is a special day for all of us. The lessons you taught help us make letters in life. The books, the scoldings made us friends. Yet, at the end of the day, your smile lightens everything. You are a precious gift. You are a role model who inspires life to dream, to work, and to grow. Many a time I've come across that our teachers' community, we tend to stay away from the from updating our knowledge, and which is very crucial for our professional development. Training programs are the banks of knowledge and skills for our skills. So through these programs, we sharpens our knowledge and empowers our skills. It also helps us to develop our creativity and innovative and this is the pressing need of today's education but sadly i should say that we try we teachers try to avoid such uh, upcoming pro training programs and we are so adamant to new changes even if we attend those uh, trainings or programs we are so ignorant that we are there just because we were compelled we don't develop that zeal of sharing and clarifying our doubts. So this ultimately we go home, we go home with full of doubts. In an Angami dialect, uh, I've heard that it is very difficult to teach a teacher. So if so, I think it is time, time has come for us to change our mindset. We have to open up to new things and get adapted to the changing environment. Uh, we feel it's very easy to do a job of a teacher, but if you try teaching one or two students for one hour, then we'll get to know what patience means. Sometimes we feel very uh, angry and we feel frustrated that it's But it's very, very difficult and uh, I'm very lucky that I got a tenure of three years also with uh, the school education department. and. When I was joining the department, many people told me that whether you actually want to do it, it's a very messy department. That is, that is the right word people use. It was a very messy department with huge number of employees and you'll have a lot of headache. Yes, I had a lot of headache, but I think that is one of the uh, postings I cherish the most in my tenure of last 11 years in Nagaland. Uh, yes, school education and especially the education in the lower classes has its own challenges in Nagaland. It may be very easy in, in may, many other states where the systems are right in place and in many developed countries, you know, why the developed country is a developed country because they are able to provide the social services like education and health free of cost to their citizens in many developed countries if you go outside. So that is the actual first criteria when you look at a country whether that country is able to do that. If the country is able to do that, we can call the country is a developed country. Even if we say we have right to education and uh, we say that uh, it's a free and compulsory education from age 6 to 14, 
to our students but we have double thoughts whether we will be having that quality kind of an education we are able to provide to our students many a time no and that is not a mistake of the teachers or anyone but it's a collective mistake that over a period of time many other countries they look forward to uh, digital education virtual reality and what not but still sometimes we are struggling to have good classrooms good bench good desk uh, uh, good access good roof to in in our schools and that is very sad actually because we are lagging behind a lot and we will get to know when we travel outside the state